So some girls exposed Chris for cheating and it looks like Queen might have left him. Roll that intro. Queen, no matter how much you're getting out of this relationship that you have with Chris, like you honestly deserve so much more than that. And like he's like all on me, like kissing me and all this stuff. We should call him. Oh, oh we should call him. We should call him. I'm gonna call him right now. Laugh in the fast lane, we play our cards. Pray and we'll find out just who we are. What up everyone, it's your boy Martin Lewis! It's your boy Martin Lewis! Boy Martin Lewis! What up everyone, it's your boy Martin Lewis! Team Real, welcome to my channel where I call out fake ass and talk about YouTube drama. So recently, a girl named Jada and her friend Helena and her sister Mia have exposed Chris for cheating on Queen when he went to LA. Chris has now made an apology video and in this video, he made it look like Queen maybe is planning to leave him. Today, we're gonna look through these videos and I'm also gonna add some of the receipts that I have from Jasmine, which is another girl that Chris cheated on Queen with. So if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future drama regarding Chris. Make sure to smash that like button because it does help me out a lot. And and if you want to stay connected or um, answer polls on what video I should do next and all that jazz, you can hit me up on my social media, which will be in the link in the description below. So let's get straight into the drama. You guys who have no idea who Chris and Queen is, you are obviously new to my channel. These are a YouTube popular cup that me and some others exposed at the start of this year or the end of last year for scamming their audience. Basically, in a nutshell, Chris and Queen weren't getting sponsorships and all that stuff back in the day on Vine. They came popular from Vine as like that it couple. But they weren't making the money that most popular social media stars were making. So what Chris did before they discovered YouTube was scan their audience by pretending to sell iPhones. Now Team Mafia, if you are watching this, please don't be Team Stupid and go watch the videos because I have all the proof and evidence and Chris even was cowardly enough to drop me when I confronted him on a stream. So recently a girl named Jada released a video that has over 100,000 views at the moment named Chris cheated on Queen with me. Who You have Jada, who's the owner of the channel, Helena, who is good friends with Jada, and Mariah or Mia. I probably spelled her name wrong. I'm pretty sure it's Maya or Maria. No, it's Maya. I'm so sorry, girl. I tried to find her social medias and I could not find her anywhere, okay? She's like hidden somewhere. She is a model and she's an Instagrammer with over 128k followers. On her YouTube channel she has around 4,000 followers. She just started YouTube to connect with her Instagrammers and stuff like that. Lena's also got an Instagram and she has around 11,000 followers. She's also an artist. She actually has a pretty good song called Crazy. Definitely check that out. Free promotion. So basically what happened, Jada and Helena were at the club. They were partying and crumping and, and booty popping. And Chris was basically there being a creep all by himself. Usually when a guy's in the club by himself, he's only there to look for a girl name for JJ. Chris is there, he's like, and he said, for JJ around here. He found these two girls and went up to them, started chatting to them, and Jada asked him. I was like, do you have a girlfriend? He was like, no, I'm single. I was like, doing this to Chris and stuff like that, just being like flirtatious. And he whispers in my ear and he says, I'm going home with the both of you guys. He thought you were guys. I knew he was gay. Just kidding. Obviously, he meant guys as in girls, you know. You can call girls guys. I, there's this one lady I met once, and she was so mad that I said, hey, guys. And she was like, 
I don't know, she must have been one of those annoying feminists. I digress. I started laughing like, you're crazy. And he like does this and he starts feeling on me and he's like grabbing my butt and I was really tipsy and kind of just delusional at that point and I look over and he has his hand on Helena's butt and he's just he's like this. holding the both of us. See, that's a clear sign that this guy just wants some booty, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's roll on. We were talking on Saturday, we were just texting and FaceTiming and then he really wanted to see, uh, he said he really wanted to see me. So on Sunday, um, he texted me that he wanted to come over. I was like, yeah, sure, like, why not? Like, we could hang out and stuff with the girls. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me you met a guy who was trying to, like, basically hit on you and pick up you and your sister, and you invited him to your house. Is you crazy, girl? How do you know he ain't no axe murderer or something like that? But at the same time, she was smart. She brought her girls over. She's like, yeah, let's hang out with the girls because usually when a guy comes over, he only wants to meet, you know, for JJ. Let's be real. So he comes in and he's just like giving me a hug and he's flirting with me and grabbing all over me and he was just like, which one of you is a freak? He started talking to us about his YouTube channel. We had a really good conversation. Mind you, we have no idea who Queen is. Yeah. We I mean, he kept never saying watched this YouTube. He's just basically... These girls have faced a lot of backlash. Obviously, Team Mafia are pretty dumb. Let's be real. And they think Chris and Queen are like Angelina and Brad Pitt. A lot of people are like, so you're telling me you don't know who Chris is? Sales is. Let me tell you guys, they're not celebrities. I didn't even know who they were until someone emailed me going, hey, these guys are scammers, you should do an investigation. Like, they've been scamming people. If it wasn't for that, I would have had no idea who Chris and Queen is. I'm being straight up. I had no idea who they are. So those people who think that everyone knows Chris and Queen, go to your neighbors and ask them. See if they know who Chris and Queen is. Talking about how he has a baby mama and they're like good friends and they started YouTube together. So he's in it for like the money. Talk to us about how they fake their prank. Now, I'm not surprised that a lot of YouTubers are open about this. I've met a couple of YouTubers that when you meet them, they're very, some of them are open about it. They're like, yeah. I have fake pranks or I do fake pranks. You know, I had a guy who asked me to do a fake prank on his channel and I was like, hell no, I don't do that. I like real pranks and a lot of them make excuses. Well, everyone knows it's fake. It's like, no, not everyone knows it's fake. If, if you think everyone knows, then put in your description, hey, this is not a real prank. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't surprise me that they would fake their pranks. The money that they make from it and that she's just like whatever but like they kind of just are on the same page that they do all this for money and now that he is not here we have got the perception that he lied and she seems to think that they are happily married yeah we were never told he was married he was single he doesn't have a ring on his finger no ring he just made us think he did some YouTube with his baby mama, but they only did it for money and they have this child together and that was really all we got. This is really funny because this seems to be the same tactic that Chris used on Jasmine. Jasmine was someone else that Chris cheated on and Jasmine exposed him and called him out and showed all the text messages um, and I actually had the opportunity to interview her, but here's what she said. He was interested. I mean, come on. So um, I was like, okay, so after we video chatted, everything completely switched. You know, once we had started talking for a while, he was like, I'm going to be honest, you know, I'm not really with her, you know, that's my baby mama. And yeah, that was pretty much what he told me. He was like, you know, they're not really together. And as soon as I was going to completely stop talking to him because I kind of felt like it was bullshit and it was some, you know, it just didn't seem right. Yeah. He quickly, he quickly, quickly was like, okay, you know, I'm going to be honest. No, we're not married. We're not really married. Or anything like that and I was like oh really he was like yeah he was like the only the only reason why we're here the only reason why we do this is for YouTube you know they we had a good contract with them and you know they do get really good money they had so what he told me was that they offered him like 10,000 per video or something like that I can't remember what how much he really said but I was like oh, okay that's what's up so I didn't make it a big issue now I didn't let him know that I knew he was 
He had a situation with Queen. It's the similar things he says to these girls. He says they're not together. It's just for business, just for YouTube. Now, there's two things here. Chris and Queen are a fraud, and they're both... You know, Queen knows that, you know, they're not in a relationship, but I doubt that only because the text messages, Queen was justifying Chris's bad behavior. You know, it could be Queen just really wants to be with Chris and is doing all this stuff and Chris isn't with her. I don't know, you know what I mean? But because Chris could be playing along with this situation and that's why he has this apology video and everything's a whole act or you know what I mean it's it's very weird it's very weird the way they do things but me personally I think after looking at all the information that they are in a relationship and Chris cheats on Queen a lot but she just accepts his bad behavior so the next day Chris texted me and he was like I want to see you before I leave and I was like yeah like I want to see you too like ah! You know what? I'm gonna give you my ebook. It's Fuckboy Bulletproof. You guys that wanna see, the link in the description below. This guy already showed you big flags. First of all, he comes to your house, hitting all over you, he says which one's the free, try to pick up you and your sister at the club, and you wanna see this guy? At the end of the day, we don't know what type of conversations he had. We don't know what type of questions this girl asked him, you know? We don't know if she asked him, are you looking for a relationship? We don't know if Chris is like, I like you. You know what I mean? So they're not very clear, but you, there are specific questions you can ask a guy to find out if he's really looking for a relationship so you don't waste, you know, your time. From what it looks like, it's as if she's kind of running away with Chris's standards and not having her own standards and that's why she got played. And then he was telling me like, you know, he could stay another day and he was just like, you should come to my hotel. Boom, big red flag there. He gets me like a margarita and we're watching it. Stuff. After the movie, he's like, okay, so you're gonna come back to my place and Obviously, I was stupid, and I was like, I was, I got in the Uber, and then we ended up going back to his hotel, and like, I was like, okay, like, how am I gonna get home? And so, the stuff that happened is obviously what you're thinking. It's obviously like, oh my God, you sucked his feet. Are you serious, girl? You don't know where his feet has been. Obviously, you know, obviously she introduced him to for JJ and he became best friends for a night. But no joke, girl, I feel so sorry for you because someone DM'd me, the DD, and I saw it and I had nightmares for a week. It looked like a half burn sausage but she was drunk so she probably doesn't remember it and it was crooked you could probably go fishing with it and catch a fish i don't know how that girl's gonna recover when she realizes how ugly that thing is but this guy's so ugly i really don't know why girls are really into him he's like ugly as hell his dd looks like a half burnt sausage with a mushroom on top and a fishing rod it just look like a fishing cook. It's just uh. like something that would happen to a girl that's just like drunk in a hotel. Like you could you could put the pieces together. It's really sad that this guy will get a drunk girl, take her to her his hotel to meet for JJ. Like that's just not cool. Um but it's really hard for me to talk about this because I actually really like I actually really liked him. I fell for him. I fell for everything that he told me. And I thought he was a really, like, genuine man. I honestly think, and no shade to her, because I definitely support her coming forward and exposing him and telling it how it is. Like, that's brave. You know, these girls are being very transparent and showing their mistakes that they did. So a lot of respect for them because of that. But I feel like she was very infatuated with Chris because I don't know how long you spent. You only had two dates with him. And, yo. I'm not saying this to say, yeah, what Chris did was right. What he did or whatever happened, absolutely wrong. You know, you don't do that to people unless he was clear with her and told her exactly, okay, this is just that. At the end of the day, we don't know, you know. They haven't showed the text messages. Talking about proof, because they didn't show the text messages, they actually end up calling Chris in the video. 
Check it out. I'm about to go to Dallas. For what? Pick up, pick up uh, my Jeep. Hey. <laughs> you ever heard from Cali? Yeah. Hi, Antonio. Oh, So are you gonna come see me? Yeah, I'm gonna come see you. You know, you know I gotta come see you. Okay, I'm gonna text you this music one day. Okay, text me. I made him turn up the uh, music for you. Okay. Fucking bitch. He's such a liar! So these girls are getting a lot of backlash after this, so please go to their channel, give them some love. A lot of Team Mafia, because they're really stupid, obviously, some of them, are saying, why would you, why would you out Queen's dirty business like that? First of all, Queen has over, over, almost 2 million subscribers. Do you think she's gonna check every single message? Secondly, I think doing a video and exposing Chris like that, he deserves it. Like, I honestly, if I had a partner who cheated on me, I would want someone to tell me. I don't care how you tell me. I don't care if you do it on YouTube. I don't care if you tell me at a party. You can't go around manipulating girls and using these tactics, me and Chris are not together, just so you can meet that for JJ. It's not cool. But what do you guys think? Do you think these girls should have not told anyone, not told a queen, not make a video, just kept it quiet? Or do you think what they did was right? Let me know in the poll. Anyway, after that, Chris ended up making a video apologizing and admitting to cheating on Queen. I don't even know where to start. Um, I don't even know where to start, bruh. First of all, I wanna, first and foremost, I own an apology to Queen for hurting her. Does he have asthma or something? I don't know, if my DD was a fishing hook, I probably wouldn't be able to breathe every time I looked at it. But we go through stuff, man. We we not perfect, you know? We, we not perfect at all. Yes, no one's perfect, Chris, but what you did is beyond not perfect. Manipulating girls, showing your DD to everyone, asking for their for JJs, lying to them to hook up with them. You planned and consciously did these things on purpose, even after when Queen caught you the first time when you did it with Jasmine. You know, but <laughs> I'm announcing that I messed around with other females, you know. It wouldn't surprise me if he got with guys as well. Queen, you know, she's a queen in my eyes, and just because I made a mistake, you know, don't mean she can't forgive me, you know. Um, not that I care for Queen because she's an as well. She scammed people along with Chris. Yeah, she can forgive you, but it doesn't mean she would be with you. Because personally, if you have a guy who cheats on you a second time and doesn't go get help, he's not worth being with, all right? Especially if you have kids. What type of example are you showing your kids by going, I'm gonna stay with this man who cheats on me and likes to meet for JJs around the world. Like the reason why relationships last is one because of love, no, first of all, one because of God, two because of love, and three because of forgiveness. You gotta have forgiveness in your relationship and you gotta let things go. And, not and four, they make a lot of money together on YouTube, so why not stick together? A lot of conspiracies going around saying that this is fake, that this is all a setup, those girls are actresses, and that could be a possibility. This whole thing could be fake. No, it's the same technique that he used on Jasmine. And I know Jasmine isn't an actress. She isn't hired by Chris. So I think this is legit. I definitely think this is real. I think Chris is apologizing because he knows without Queen, he's nothing, man. I don't even think he has a channel. If he does, the Queen has another channel and it's doing really, really well. Like, she doesn't need Chris. You know what I mean? She can, I honestly think she's just with Chris because she's in love with him and does all this scamming stuff with him, you know? But honestly, I think, because look, Queen even knows that he cheated, you know? And she was making excuses for him ages ago with the evidence that I have from Jasmine, which you can check at the video. I'll put it in the end and you guys can click it. I do think that Queen's not putting up with it, and from what it sounds like, it sounds like she may be leaving him. Anyway guys, I know you guilty pleasures, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, because if you don't, Chris is gonna get you crunk. He's gonna try to meet your for JJ. So make sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell so that doesn't happen to you. This video a like, and I'll see you guys in another drama video.